possibly bonkage involving a rare relic. We could even get rid of it on floor two. The curse, that is, not the relic. Don't get rid of your rare relics. Don't do it. And it looks harder to take more than two elites. It is possible to take more than two, but it's just really hard. Give me a rare relic, then. No, not that one. Uh-oh. We have a pain and an unceasing top. Unceasing pain. Hmm. It's not good. Chronic condition build. Go. Oh. Seems likely that we should just play three strikes here, take the six, and then try to kill next turn. With the pain in the deck, the longer we wait, the worse it's going to get, right? Just kill it. Walker with the prime sub in the 12 months, the full dirty dozen. Thank you, thank you. Brew Grit versus Guardian seems good. I'm not taking a rampage. I'm not desperate. Yet. How about this? It's a pretty good card. Okay. Sure. Give me the good blanks. That's a good fight. Feel no pain. I've got ghostly armor and true grit. That sounds good. I'd love some damage, but uh, clash ain't it. Clash definitely ain't it. Klimbit. Thanks for the prime sub. Finally beat Donu with feed last night. Well done. It's a satisfying achievement to get. Remove pain. Feel no pain. Coincidence? Yes. KX Rage with the Prime sub. Thank you for four months of support. Thank you, thank you. All right, Ghostly Armor, you gotta go. I've got damage to deal. Bash Strike only does 17. You have 18 effective health. That really did not work out, huh? Heck. No. Time to lose to Jawworm, I guess. Ow. Ah, uh, finally a good attack card. Twin Strike is perfectly fine here. Could take Infernal Blade. I like it with Feel No Pain, but it's not reliable. And right now I need a reliable attack. So I'll take a Twin Strike. And I'm going to remove a Defend. We added two good blocks. I think right now damage is a bit of a priority. So I'm going to remove a Defend here. Feels bad to do that with Guardian as the Act boss. But I think it's correct. I'm going to upgrade the Twin Strike. Because damage is still an issue. I want to fight this Elite. But I'm not sure how viable it's going to be. I'm going to try. Oh, look at that Twin Strike upgrade, though. Big deal here. Boom. That was very important. Still ghostly defend, I guess. Skip the Feel No Pain. It's a little iffy. Only a bit, though. Yeah, next turn's gonna suck. With no Feel No Pain. Now might be a good time for Essence of Steel. Keep that for the elite or something. Shh. 
Might have been more correct to play bash there. Guess we'll see. We're doing okay on health. Not great, but okay. Amal is decent damage. Damage and draw. This elite fight might not go well. Hopefully it's just sentries and then they're free. It's not. Looks like it may be okay, though. Potentially here. Can I do 24 damage in one turn? Maybe. Only maybe, though. Gonna have to get a decent draw, otherwise we die. Feel no pain blocks for three. Ghostly armor blocks for six. Do I ever live next turn if I play the feel no pain? We take 18. Thirty-seven minus eighteen would be nineteen with two plated armor. Yeah, we could live that. Okay. That way, true grit also keeps us alive here. Fortunately, we get a kill. Spooky. Get a mummified hand. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. If we play a power, a random card in our hand becomes free, and a second wind is interesting. Might not be good enough though. I'll take a pummel. Pummel is fine. Hmm. Lantern is also fine. Wouldn't call it good, but it's adequate. Right now, I'll take adequate. Looks like we actually gain health from this fight. That's kind of exciting. I like that. Adequate is good when compared to bad. Indeed. Strength is good. Ocean, hello. At least we're guaranteed to get more if I go this way. I think I'll risk it. I'd like to fight this elite. And it's a 50% chance to be sentries who are just free. Give me that. Don't let adequate be the enemy of good. Unceasing top, go! The power. Holy heck, unceasing top just carried 90% potion chance. What the heck? Come on, game. I'll take the guaranteed strength, though. That's nice. That's good, especially with mummy hands. Not again. No, you can't do this twice in the same run. No, unacceptable. Okay. Terrible, I say. And it has 15 health this time. You get bashed. Just terrible. Oh, Pummel's now really good, though. Sweet. That was actually a good fight. Thankfully, we got a potion. It's kind of a weak potion, though. 
corruption with feel no hand, unceasing top mummy hand. Yes. Take combo pieces when you see them, especially if you've already got encouragement. Now give me a fight. That's not a fight. Heal is good, though. Heal is looking very good. So is strike remove, TBH. Now give me a strike remove. Excellent. Perfect fight. Just go bash True Grit. Draw one, although that's not actually helpful. We can actually just play all of our skills in this fight. No issue there. Five damage four times. Holy moly. Keep that for later then. Perhaps I should have just played the Corruption, but didn't want to. Okay, free fight. We get a Boat Thingy and a Blood Potion. And a Headbutt. Or a Body Slam. Wait a minute. Body Slam is almost really good. Now we should take Headbutt. If we had Dark Embrace, Body Slam would be very OP, but until we have the Dark Embrace, it's actually not that good. Pick a headbutt. Lots of good upgrades here. I'm really liking True Grit for the Guardian fight. I also like upgrading Spot Weakness. Let's do True Grit first. We might not be playing Corruption in the Guardian fight, at least not early in the Guardian fight. It's okay, we got headbutt. Draw one? Is there any reason to do that? I don't think so. Hmm. Not ideal, but not horrible, actually. Try this. I play you. I don't think we'd want to do that yet. But now. Still too early, I'm pretty sure. I'll lose Bash here. Feels bad. Now we can consider playing Corruption. This is all, uh, all me, Diaz hacks. I haven't done any voice coaching. Although that is something I would like to do at some point. Welcome, Maggot776. Got you into Spire a couple months ago. Glad to hear it. 
Um, let's actually just be defensive still. Though I didn't think that much about this turn. Hmm. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. We got back. Okay, now we can definitely play Corruption. Now is the time. Just keep drawing cards. Boom. GG, nerd. Did you know that I play games other than Slay the Spire? It's true. Catch me over on Baylor Lord Plays for card games, RPGs, strategy games, and more. Correct. Both Fiendfire and Limit Break seem pretty good here. We have two different strength sources and a corruption, which makes Limit Break very appealing. Fiendfire goes with the Unceasing Top and the Feel No Pain as well. I think I'm going to take the Limit Break. Definitely building a nice hybrid exhaust strength deck so far. But what about second corruption? Now you're talking. Dome, Black Blood, or Cage? This deck definitely does not mind removing two strikes. I don't feel like we need energy that much between Lantern and Mummy Hand. Base energy is not as valuable. Black Blood is pretty good healing. Genuinely, don't ignore this relic. It's actually kind of decent. But I do think two strike removes would do really well here. Especially if we could find a Dark Embrace. Take Cage. Let's do it. Dunk two strikes and then get us to a shop quickly where we can buy a another card remove or better yet, a Dark Embrace is what I'm hoping to see in the shop. Not guaranteed by any stretch of the imagination, though. I like this shop. Then from here, we can go easy or dangerous, depending on how we're feeling. some options. Optionality, I like to call it. The ability to go left or right after gaining the information of stuff like card picks and things. We are not going to be very good at this fight. Does seem like we should just go ahead and corruption. At least we have a pummel. Let's go corruption right now. Let's so draw one. Cool. Good draw. And Ceasing Top has actually done pretty good work in just a couple fights so far. doesn't matter. Could energy potion? I don't really want to. Let's take three here. Man, I draw it. Seems good. Kill you. All I have are attacks now. But I can go Twin Strike, Pommel Strike, Twin Strike. That's kind of cool. Shockwave. Very powerful here. So is Dropkick, actually. Although we lack a good way to apply Vulnerable to make the Dropkick good. So I'm going to take Shockwave. Three weak and three vuln to all targets. It's a two-cost skill, and those are really, really good with Eruption. You know what else is really, really good with Corruption? Being able to add a skill to your draw pile every turn with Nilri's Codex. 
We can heal with a blood potion, so I'm more than happy to donate 21 health to the library here in order to get a book. And that book is indeed Nilri's Codex, meaning at the end of our turn, we can shuffle one of three random cards into the draw pile each and every turn. Orange pellets are here. That's kind of interesting. Second, feel no pain is here. That's very strong. I could do feel no pain and a card remove. Maybe that's better than orange pellets. Omabi, thanks for the prime sub in 19 months. Of sub ports. Bloodletting with the top, also pretty strong, actually. I think I'm going feel no pain remove. TBH. Are you wrong for hating Nilri's? I totally get it. It's just, it's a lot of cognitive load on the run, which can make it annoying. Hey, you're rewarded for not drinking the blood potion yet. Ow. Also, I'm not going red path. Ow. Jaxed, transform two, or get three strength on turn one. Do I just transform strike and bash? Yes. <laughs> I think the answer is yes. Jesus Wep, how does the Augmenter stay so thin? He does lots of jumping jacks. Let's transform two. Get rid of the, the last two attacks that I don't really want. Brian and Bash, you are now Fiend Fire Intimidate. Let's go. Superb, he says, and he's right about it. Superb indeed. I'm gonna rest. Remove a card from the deck. My cards. Are we at the point where I just remove a defend, unironically? I need my attacks. I only have four attacks left in the whole deck, or five attacks left in the whole deck. Removing more attacks is no longer beneficial. I guess we could just upgrade the defends. <laughs> yeah, maybe we just upgrade three defends. Sure. Yeah, sure. The truth is always simple. It's amazing. There's nothing to remove left. Good news is we can never run out of attacks entirely because we have Nilri's Codex. That part is nice. This fight is not going to be nice. This fight's going to be bad. Don't hit the gremlin with that. Don't do it. Don't use that yet either. Let's take a shrug. Not attacking me yet. That's fine. I can do defend, then headbutt, then feel no pain, then corruption. Let's do that. Let's put this on top. Yo. We've had first limit break, yes, but what about second limit break? Came about the uh, spot weakness, so oh, well. Not much left in the deck, but that's actually fine. I think. Yeah, it's totally fine. Dead. Get healing galore. 
One more Pummel Strike doesn't seem bad, actually. Although Flame Barrier is also very good. Take the Pummel. Ooh, that's good. Um, how do we feel about Burning Elite right now? I feel pretty good. Well, hmm, Slavers could be an issue. Hmm. I want to. They're regenerating Slavers. Definitely got to be careful about that. Might not have been wise. But here we are. The Defend, True Grit, Feel No Pain, Shockwave is the order here. With Mummy Hands. Perfect. This Impervious is good. might only hit Twin Strike. We'd make these free, though. I guess we still lead with Corruption. I can Energy Potion if I need to. And I don't even need to. Pretty sure you have to die first. Doesn't do anything, so there's no point. Okay. Uh, that seems kind of good. I cannot become entangled, though. Not acceptable. Easy peasy. Okay, nice fight. Totally worth it to go this way. We get the Koye, meaning we get a discount at shops. Get a Burning Pact or a Whirlwind Plus. Probably Burning Pact, actually. Give me that. And I'll take the power potion. Cool. Um, take a hemo for this fight. Self forming clay says, why not? No need to play Corruption, surely. Just give me a Fiend Fire. Hmm. With Weaken, it won't be enough to kill. Never mind. Is it Feel No Pain Fiend Fire? No, it's just Pummel Strike Fiend Fire. Blood. No. Terrible. Oh well. Let's go ahead and upgrade our strength sources. You first. How good would Ragnarok be on Clad? It'd be pretty good. Pretty good. Don't know if it would be the best thing ever, but it'd be pretty good. Forty-one block. Consider that Pummel is basically a one-cost exhausting version. 
of Ragnarok without the random targeting, so it's even better. Take an offering here. We've got uh, Eternal Feather. feel no pain. I guess. We could also take anger with the unceasing top. Is that actually going to work? No. It's not going to work. Feel even less pain. Gain even more strength. not going to work because I have to play all the other attacks in my hand or delete them. I guess we could delete every other attack. But I don't really want to. Feel no pains. Surely there is no need for more. Nice. Corruption and demon form are gone. How annoying. Couldn't have taken fiend fire? Heck. Play the energy potion to play that. I'm just going to wait. Sentinel seems to be good. Nice try. GG. We've had first corruption. Now, let's take an impervious. Seems pretty good with corruption. Any skill that already exhausts with corruption is very good. Runic Pyramid, Unceasing Top. Interesting. Huh. Do I want that? does seem good. Let's do it. Would I like double tap better if the upgrade removed the this turn keyword? Definitely. Not as much as I would like uh, amplify, though. 
Amplify would be amazing with that. Don't have a way to gain health back, huh? Hmm. Keep taking good powers. You die. Eighteen by three is not quite enough. Here we go. Deck strong. General comments on taking a pyramid. Yeah, if you've got energy cheats, it's very good. So here, for example, we have three energy, right? But we also have mummified hand. We have corruption, which makes every skill free. And we have bloodletting. So we actually have a ton of energy. The only thing we really have to pay for are attack cards. And so the only thing we actually want now is just a free attack. Take another pummel, though. But yeah, give me a, a blood for blood or an anger or a reckless charge and we're kind of solved. Is good. Yeah, in a word, it's good. I like that it lets me retain the last card with the unceasing top, too. That part is nice. Slamming and jamming. Bunk. Nice. Okay, there's a real body slam too. Seems pretty good. So there's, and that's our free attack, right? Like this upgrades to be zero cost. Now it doesn't matter that I have no energy because everything is free. And we have a real dark embrace and we have a real card remove. I guess twin strikes time is over. Thing else we want here, right? I don't want Strange Spoon. Yeah, okay. Dead Branch, no. Now we good. Dark Embrace is better than Dead Branch in this position, by far. And Glowing Tesseract can give me the Apotheosis we just skipped, although Master Strategy and Purity are also very good. Dark Shackles is very good. Double Dark Shackles is even better. Let's go Double Dark Shackles Master of Strategy. Seems absurd. Just absurd. Just play that. Ow. But my face, though. It's corruption, and now we have the full overpowered combo.
Copy Slam does infinity damage, basically. So does everything else. Yeah. Heavy Blade Plus would be good here if we didn't have Body Slam and Dark Embrace. We don't need this card at all, even though it seems like it could be good on the surface. It is completely redundant. This nerd is going to die. Or I'm going to die. Unclear. I'll play it. It's not all my damage, right? I still have Body Slam. Now it's time for you to die. Bonk. Meh. Also meh. Who needs it? to spin the wheel would love 300 gold if you don't mind he do mind frozen eggs pretty sweet though all upgrades all the time I like it no stab for us today Pretty good. He's dead. Body Slam does 400 damage. Bottled Tornado. Okay, we can bottle the Dark Embrace, which is very OP. Give me another Burning Pack, then. Yoink. Bottling Corruption's pretty good, too. Um, That seems really good, actually. Upgrade all cards. All of them. Cover your ears, Twitch chat. And we fight Reptomancer. I'm crazy like that. I like to keep drawing cards. That's that's really good. Okay. Seems like everything's fine. Yeah, repto a problem, not on my watch. Gotta be really careful with the bloodletting though, right? We can never heal from that. It's kind of bad.
Nice. Just deleted, I guess. Turdakin, thanks for the prime sub. Welcome to the Kuzi Sub Club. So long and thanks for all the fish. You're heckin' welcome. You can play that now. It's a bit of a spooky fight. I'm sure it's fine, though. Power. No need for any of that. I can upgrade Shrug it off, or I can rest, which does literally nothing. Okay, upgrade Shrug, I guess. Take one? Or just play Fiendfire. The Thromborax, thanks for the Prime sub in seven months. Why was six afraid of seven? Tune in at 860 to find out. I'll take one. I guess. If I have to. Three block after all. That part seems kind of good. Rid of pummel. Try not to play this. So do play this. I think so. We don't lose anything really important here, do we? No, we don't. Cool. Don't need two dark embraces either. We Bales, thanks for the Prime sub. Welcome to the Cozy Sub Club. Welcome, welcome. That wasn't quite right, actually. I don't think it matters, though. Pretty sure they both die right now. And now for you nerds. Take a juggernaut, that sounds fun.
Good enough. No. Denied. fine. Body slam impervious. Body slam flame barrier. Body slam pommel strike. Body slam pommel strike. Body slam pommel strike. Body slam would do another 500 damage or some nonsense. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Would I agree that Juggernaut sees in frequent use because it's competing with Body Slam a lot of the time? Yes, Body Slam can do what Juggernaut does way better if you've got the draw engine online. Juggernaut works better if you just have sort of slow and steady block production with stuff like Metallicize and Plated Armor and things. To rest uselessly. Looks like we're pretty good though, right? We only took one damage after taking Mark of the Bloom so far, even though it's ostensibly prevented 103 healing. Only one point of healing would matter right now. Exhum is really good. <laughs> Anyone for a potion? <laughs> a wealth of choices before us here. Amazing. I guess Exhum and potion is within our price range here. With the Courier, we can get different potions too. Does the strawberry still add health with the max health? No, if I buy the strawberry, we go to 79 out of 87, but we stay at 79. Easiest way to say this with Mark of the Bloom is that your health can never, ever go up for any reason. No exceptions. It's pretty potent, but upgrading your whole deck is still worth it sometimes. I think even console commands would fail as long as you have the Mark of the Bloom relic. You'd have to remove the Mark of the Bloom and then use console commands to, he to heal yourself in some way. But any attempt to heal yourself, even with cheats, would be blocked by the Mark of the Bloom. They would just say, no, you can't do that. Your health goes up when you start a new run. Ominous, but also true. Well, sometimes it goes down, actually, right? Depends on the character you're playing. These nerds are very screwed. Just headbutt that? Yeah, headbutt that. Bruh. Is that overkill? No. Twenty-two times eight, hundred and sixty plus sixteen, hundred and seventy-six. You have a hundred and seventy-nine, but you don't. Still, you. All right, good turn. Could have also done Pummel first, that's true, and then killed the Spear that way. 
Both were acceptable options. Either way, we win this fight without taking even a single point of damage. But yeah, I think Mark of the Bloom was a great idea. Juggernaut with a plus or second body slab. I do like Juggernaut, actually. Get in here. It's just cool. It's just cool. And I've got two power potions to use as well. Uh, I guess demon form. Yeah, I guess. I don't really want corruption right now. There's barricade. There is no barricade. There's only double demon form, apparently. I guess that's fine. Doesn't seem that bad, TBH. Does not seem that bad. About playing this. Hey there, Arceus. Yes, if you raise your max health with Mark of the Bloom, your current health stays where it is, but your max health will go up. But you can never actually benefit from the increased max health, so all max health becomes useless, essentially. Uh, we should exhume. If I'm going to Fiend Fire, we should exhume Intimidate and play it. Can I actually get away with that? Is that allowed? It sure looks like it's allowed. Yeah, that sure looks like it's allowed. Although I gotta play this card first. I think if I want to make this work, I have to not play the Corruption. So that, that's the secret, is now we don't play Corruption. Uh-oh, there's a bunch of garbage in my draw pile. Who put all that there? is a skill, right? Body slam, burning packed on wound here not draw the bloodletting, although I could with Dark Shackles. Let's do it. Play this. Drop kick you. Um, just get rid of corruption now. And this too. The other cards to lose. Now we're good.
GG. If you enjoyed that video, watch this one next. And don't forget to check out Baylor Lord Plays for variety content. Click the blue Baylor icon to subscribe.